This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. It's such a delight to be here helping you with playing the guitar. This is lesson 18 in this series that is all about strumming patterns and strumming principles. In this lesson, I'm going to go over the third metric option for 7-8 time. So this is the third lesson on 7-8 time in this series. In the first lesson, so two lessons ago, I went over the 3 plus 2 plus 2 configuration for 7-8 time. What's that mean? We're talking about eighth notes. So since 7-8 time is an odd meter, just like 5-8 time is, is an odd meter, we have beats that are subdivided in different ways. So in 7-8 time we have two beats that are subdivided by two eighth notes. So two quarter notes subdivided by two eighth notes each. And then there is a dotted quarter in there which is subdivided by three eighth notes. And we can end up with a three eighth note plus two eighth note plus two eighth note configuration like I did in lesson 16. And then in the last lesson we did the two eighth note plus two eighth note plus three eighth note configuration. Now a lot of times if you look up in theoretical terms on uh, seven eight time, if you get a lesson on that or you go looking for information on 7-8 time, those are usually the only two that are gone into. But technically there is a third one that is possible and that is a 2 eighth note plus 3 eighth note plus 2 eighth note configuration. And while there may be music that hasn't yet to be written on it, it is a possible option for 7-8 time. So I'm going to go over it here. We're going to practice a couple strumming patterns with it and it's going to be great. So we'll just dive right in. So right up on the board you can see we get the 2 eighth note plus three eighth note plus two eighth note configuration. As we've done in the last couple of lessons, we'll look at just getting used to that with all down strums. So we'd have one, two, one, two, three, one, two. That's how that would go. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And as I've mentioned in previous lessons, it's important to put a little bit of an accent on each of those ones that I just pointed to because that's the beginning of the actual beat, the beginning of the groupings. We put a little accent there by strumming just a little bit harder and that's where we get the metric feel. Otherwise it's just all downs and we have no idea what meter we're in. So the accenting helps with that. So we get one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And you can have an even harder one on the beginning of the beat. Uh, the downbeat of the measure. We can put just a little bit more of an accent there even than we do here and here. So once you got that, we'll plug that into the chord progression. I'm using the same chord progression for all three of these lessons on 7-8. So we can just focus on the rhythm and not have to worry about learning a different chord progression. So we just got G, C, G, and D repeated over and over. So we can plug that in here. We'd have one, two, one, two, three, one, two. that as much as you need to. As I've explained in previous lessons, when we change up the strumming pattern, it changes the, the strumming pat when we change up the strumming direction, it changes up that strumming feel just a little bit. I actually think it gets a little bit easier adding some up strums rather than trying to do that with all down strums. So we're going to go down up on that group of two, down up down on our group of three, and down up on that final group of two. So we'd have down up down up down down up down up down up down down up. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And if we plug that into the chord progression, we'd have one, two, one, two, three, one, two.
Then we can go ahead and look at some different variations, which I've got up here on the board. If you saw lesson 15 for 5-8 time, I went over four different options, just four different rhythmic options for when you have the groups of two and four different ones for when you have the groups of three since 5-8 time has a two and a three or a three and a two configuration. So those are options you could use to create your own lots of different rhythmic variations. In these lessons with 7-8 time, I've tried to just create some options and you could use these different rhythmic uh, components that are in here and create some other variations of your own or create some other rhythmic ideas and plug them in following the same pattern principles that I've been showing in these. But we've got a couple fun ones here to sort of use with this version of 7-8. So we're going to start off with a dotted, uh, dotted eighth followed by a sixteenth note for that first group of two. And then we've got just the down up down three eighth notes for our group of three. And then four sixteenth notes down up down up for our final group of two. So you're gonna have down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, just like that. So if we plug that into the chord progression here, we'd have one, two, one, two, three, one, two. great one. You can practice that at different tempos. Super fun. Let's take a look at the other one that I've put up here on the board. Add a little syncopation here with down, down, up in the eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes for our first group of two. And then down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up. So we've got a sixteenth note, an eighth note, and then three sixteenth notes. Down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up for that group of three, and then just down up for our final group of two. So down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Just like that. It's a lot to say though. So I'm going to go through it just a little bit slower and do that a couple more times. So you're going to have down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Let's go ahead and plug that into the chord progression. So we're going to have one, two, one, two, three, one, two. As I've explained in other lessons, there are four things that contribute to a strumming pattern. One is the meter, in this case 7-8 time with that 2 plus 3 plus 2 configuration. And then we got the rhythm, and so we've got these different rhythms written out. The third thing is the actual strumming direction. Change up the strumming direction and you change up that feel, that groove that you're getting just a little bit from the strumming pattern. And then also how we treat each figure. So we can mute things with palm muting, we can cut things off from ringing, like right there I'm just letting the chords ring open, when we change the bar chords, for example, we can cut them off, we don't have to let them ring over. So if I were to change up this last one where I was doing these chords uh, with palm muting and all down strums, it's going to change it up a little bit.
So that's just an example, but you could come up with some different variations, different ways of doing that as I've explained, explained in previous lessons. So I hope you are having so much fun playing the guitar. That wraps us up for this lesson, but these lessons come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So where do we go from here in the series? We're going to go back to 4-4 four, four time. We're going to start working with 16th notes in 4-4 four, four time. So since we've been doing these odd meters, we've actually been doing some things with 16th notes. We'll also take a look maybe with a little bit of triplets, which we sort of did with the 6-8, 9-8, and 12-8 with those compound meters. We'll start bringing triplets and 16th 16th notes into our strumming patterns in 4-4 four, four time and we'll even talk through a little bit of the double time feel which is sort of where our strumming pattern is going faster than where the melody is so it gives it this idea this sort of faster groove um, while we keep that melody at a slower tempo so to speak and so we'll have some strumming patterns with that stuff like kinds of things so we can get some more groove ideas happening with our 4-4 four, four strumming patterns which is the meter that we play the most in. It's going to be fun, it's going to be great. Take care and we'll see you again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.